Alice, my wife, the best thing that ever happened to me. She smiles and the darkness lifts. For her, I tried things I otherwise never would. I've never really minded if it's made me feel like a fool. She's a photographer, and the world she sees through her lenses is unique and beautiful. She has the vision. She sees things others don't and knows how to make them visible to everybody. She did it with me, too. She teased out things I was only vaguely aware of. She always saw me in the best possible light. You have no idea how badly you're screwed. It's gonna be a blast to watch you find out. Don't wanna get hit by those.
It's nice. It's so nice in the dark. I can see. Ah! No, don't. Oh, it's not. It's you. Did. Did you help me? Looks like you're feeling better now. Yes, I am. Thank you so much. I don't know what happened. There was this guy. Before you say anything, I know I look like him, but I'm not. Don't worry. You just don't feel anything like he does. He was in my head. I feel like I need to take 50 showers. Where is he? That asshole wanted to get into the projector booth. He was talking about fixing things so the sun never comes up. God, it didn't seem that weird when he was saying it. It sounded really good at the time. You weren't yourself. The projector booth. That sounds about right. I need to get in there. I have the access code for the door. Here. Thanks. I'm just glad you showed up now. He said he'd be back after he'd arranged for some security. Do you feel up to telling me what's going on here? We have an art exhibition here, supposed to open tomorrow. I'm the curator. My name's Serena Valdivia. Alan Wake. Holy shit, it is you. I didn't... I mean, I've seen you on the big screen. I... I know your wife. You know Alice? Wait. Big screen? Yeah, we have a film from her here. What the hell happened to you? Getting back to Alice. Oh, God, yeah, sorry. Uh... It's quite a coincidence that you're here. She made this short film. I mean, she shot it years ago. You're in it. It's a part of the exhibition. I'm in a film? Yeah, it's like... I mean, it's just footage she shot of you at some point. But she turned it into this... thing. It's, a uh, Almost like a memorial of sorts. Because, you know, you're supposed to be dead. Or... something. Uh-huh. How's Alice? Is she all right? She's okay, I guess, all things considered. I know her pretty well. You're really Alan? I can't believe you're here. Nobody knows what happened to you. But there are people who say they've seen you. That wasn't me. He just looks the same. Like, you know. Yeah, but that guy's a lot more slimy. The thought of him makes me... I hate him, but I... There's something about him, this... God, he's so creepy. Anyway, you're not like him. At all. I hope you can stop him. That's the security system? I guess it's...
The Champion of Light can feel the fragment of the signal in his pocket. The weapon that can change what will be. It's incomplete, but it's all he has. Going right. <laughs> You've been up to something. Too, too bad. It's not going to do any good. I'm a better you than you ever will be, and I've got all everything you've got's going to be mine. Your life. Your wife. <laughs> What are you gonna do about it? The sun's never coming up now. I can keep this up forever. Show yourself! Whatever you say, buddy. The rush of darkness is unstoppable. Time itself twists and tears, sweeping the champion of light back with its dark currents. Again he enters the world, but now he sees the trap for what it is, a maze that loops back into itself. I'm, I'm here again. He sent me back. I'm trapped in the darkness. He has started appearing to me. Mr. Sk he can travel back into the world effortlessly, and he loves to rub my face in it. At first, he was just an echo in the darkness, a flicker beyond the edge of my vision. Now he started showing himself, getting bolder all the time, telling me what a great time he's having in the world while I'm stuck here, and what he plans to do, especially to Alice. All the moves I have left are dangerous and desperate. I have no choice. I have to hunt him.
The reality we take for granted is softer, more adaptable than we think. Under correct conditions, you can reshape it, turn it into almost anything you want. When it happens, almost nobody notices. It's not that we forget, it's that after the change, there's nothing to remember. Only those who have been directly touched by the powers that can shift reality are aware of the changes. Many are driven mad by it. Others can cope. I'm one of those people. And I know how to wield that power to rewrite reality.